Hi, I'm Carol Angrisani. The new year is here, and with it, we'll see plenty of new foods and beverages on store shelves. I'll tell you about one of the biggest product launches at Target. Plus, it's time to spice things up. In today's edition of How to Shop Smarter, I'll talk about how to choose and store spices. Back in a minute. One of the most famous sculptures in the world is The Thinker. For ages, people have wondered exactly what he was thinking about. Some say he's thinking about the meaning of life. Others say he's contemplating the billions of stars and planets in the universe. But we know better. The Thinker is pondering how to save money at the supermarket. The answer, of course, is quite simple. The answer is store brands. Those great products that retailers offer with their own brand on it. Just as good as more expensive national brands, but better prices. Now that's not so complicated. Store brands, the thinker knows. Welcome back. If you shop the grocery section at Target, you may have noticed that there are fewer Archer Farms and Simply Balanced Foods and Beverages. That's because they've been replaced with a new brand, Good & Gather, which is now the flagship grocery brand. This cheese is one of the new Good & Gather products. In addition to replacing Archer Farms and Simply Balanced products, Good & Gather is replacing some market pantry products as well. By the end of this year, there will be more than 2,000 Good & Gather products, including dairy, produce, pasta, and packaged meats. All Good & Gather products meet strict nutrition standards. They are made without artificial flavors and sweeteners, synthetic colors, and high fructose corn syrup. The assortment includes items like these cheese nut snack packs and many other better for you groceries, including tortilla chips made with organic blue corn and flax seeds, as well as almond milk and more. The line includes groceries geared just for kids, like these fruit strips. Also be on the lookout for bubble gum flavored seltzer and kid sized Bartlett pears. Now, I had a chance to visit the first Wegmans supermarket to open in New York City. While Wegmans is a regional chain with about 100 stores in the Mid-Atlantic, it has developed quite a large following for its high quality of foods. For years, it's ranked high on Consumer Reports list of the top grocery chains in America. Exclusive cheeses like this camembert are one reason why. It's one of Wegmans' many so-called cave-ripened store brand cheeses. This was imported from France and aged in Wegmans' own high-tech facility that mimics the environment of Europe's famous cheese caves. Wegmans has a dedicated cave for brie cheeses and seven other chambers for other cheeses. And each room has just the right temperature, airflow, and humidity necessary to age the cheese perfectly. See that banner on the top of the package? It reads, food you feel good about. This banner is used on all Wegmans products that contain no artificial colors, flavors, or preservatives. About 90% of all Wegmans private label products qualify for the label. In addition to natural products like these, Wegmans also carries a wide array of 100% organic products. I purchased this 30-ounce bag of organic Arborio rice. The organic label means it was produced in accordance with USDA organic standards. Now, onto the product inside. Arborio rice is named after a town in Italy. It's commonly used in risotto and rice puddings. Wegmans is known for thinking about small details, not only in terms of ingredients, but also packaging. A great example of this is the resealable bag in which this rice is packaged. Plus, on the back, there are some chef's tips for how to prepare risotto. Next, we'll discuss tips on what to know when you're shopping for spices. We'll be right back. Washington, Jefferson, Adams. You can read the founders' names in the history books, but one name that you may not find is Selwyn Douglas, spelled with two O's. While the others may be the fathers of this country, Douglas was the father of store brands. There, in his small shop in Concord, Massachusetts, he sold food and beverages, household necessities, and health remedies. You could buy directly from the big barrels inside his store or choose the things you needed from his shelves. They all came with his store's guarantee of quality. They were priced fairly, too. And when he wrapped up your items, he signed his name right on the packing paper. So you would always know where you bought things. That was the beginning of retailer store brands, and it hasn't changed in over 200 years. Store brands. Thank you, Selwyn Douglas. Welcome back. Dried herbs and spices add aroma, color, and flavor to your food. 
But when was the last time you replaced the oregano, paprika, or garlic powder in your spice rack? Despite what some people think, spices don't last forever. In this edition of How to Shop Smarter, let's look at how to shop for and store spices so that they'll keep their flavor longer. First, you should know that ground spices have just a six to nine month shelf life. Whole spices typically last one to two years. While old spices won't necessarily make you sick, they may have less flavor. So with the new year here, it's time to give your herbs and spices an annual checkup. First, smell the spice. It should have a nice fragrance and aroma. To save money and get the longest shelf life out of your spices, consider buying whole spices. Whole spices can stay fresh for up to two years. You'll need to grind them yourself using a mortar and pestle, coffee grinder, or a spice mill. If you don't want to get a spice mill, you can get spices with built-in grinders, like this one. You simply turn the top for fresh ground spices. For maximum flavor, grind spices just before use. What about storing your spices? Keep them tightly covered and store them in a cool, dry place. That means you need to move them away from your stove. Moisture can also ruin a spice, so avoid using wet utensils or shaking the container over a steaming pan. The steam can cause ground spices to cake. You should also keep your spices away from strong, direct light, especially if your spices are stored in clear glass. Paprika, parsley, freeze-dried chives, and other herbs are particularly light-sensitive. You can store some red spices, such as paprika and red pepper, in the refrigerator. They will hold their color and keep their flavor longer. Finally, remember to close the container tightly as soon as you finish using it. This will limit the amount of air that gets in. Glass jars like these are preferable to plastic since they're not porous. And here's another trick. You can write the purchase date and marker on tape so that you know when it's time to toss your spice. One way to save money is to buy spices in bulk. Some supermarkets now include spices in their bulk department. They are cheaper per ounce, and you can buy just what you need. Spices let you add flavor to your foods without adding a lot of salt and fat. They can turn everyday recipes into something that's new and exciting. Just remember when it's time to replace them. Thanks for watching. Want to keep track of these and other new products and new ideas? You can read all about them in my monthly newsletter at storebrandsusa.com. It's free and I'm happy to send it to you. Just email me at carol at storebrandsusa.com. See you next month.